All right, what's going on, everybody? So Microsoft held their XO18 uh, gaming conference show, expo, um, convention, whatever exactly you want to call this event. And uh, let's review it and uh, talk about everything that was shown. Not necessarily everything that was shown, because there was a lot of what I would consider filler in this show. Uh, and a not, not a lot of, there really wasn't a lot of noteworthy things Worth, worth talking about. Actually, you know, if I only talked about the noteworthy things, this video could probably be like maybe two, three minutes, honestly. But just to be upfront, the show was not very good. The show was kind of trash. It, it actually sucked. It was pretty mediocre. And the reason it sucked was because all they really did was 90% 90, 90 of the time show us content for things we are, we've already seen things we already knew about it was and understand I'm, i didn't expect this to be e3 nobody expected this to be e3 we didn't expect it to be games con or any of those major conventions or shows but we kind of expected them to show you know something worth our time i think this thing was about maybe two hours and i think you know, it was like about 10 minutes of, of anything noteworthy. This really seemed like an extended Inside Xbox, and we know how bad uh, Inside Xbox is. But just to go through um, a, a, a few things, and like I said, it, it was it was pretty much just like a, a backwards compatible um, Xbox ca Xbox Game Pass convention, and and the rest was just stuff that we've already seen. You know, just content we've already seen or things that have already been announced. We want to watch an Xbox conference to see things that are more specific to Xbox. Not things that we could find other places or we could see announced other places. You get me? That's what we really want and they really didn't give us that. But I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to try to like skim through all the major things. Um, studios so they added two new uh, studios to their to their team in in exile entertainment most I knew who in exile entertainment was but they don't really they haven't really made any games that I care about or any really prolific games that most people care care about you can look at the, the list of games they've made not anything thrilling it, but, you know, if they got it for the cheap, if they were able to buy that studio for the cheap or buy it for the low low, then it's, it's a cool pickup. If they can uh, make, uh, you know, they, they, they did say they, they're, they are going to give the studios autonomy and freedom of choice and, you know, they're going to allow all these studios they buy, they buy to keep their culture. Um, so maybe they'll make a game in the future that, um, you know, the masses are interested in. But... So, you know, their whole resume is not really anything is writing home about. Um, Obsidian Entertainment, you know, that's been rumored for a while. That's a good pickup. You know, smart move for them. You know, they've made a lot of great RPGs. People think um, that they may make um, uh, the, the next Fable game. So, you know, that, that's cool that they got that studio. Uh, mouse and keyboard um, compatibility uh, is going to be coming next week, I think. And, you know, uh, they informed us that pretty much how mouse and keyboard is going to be dealt with is um, it's going to be separated. You're going to be uh, mouse and keyboard users are going to be separated for, from uh, controller users um, when it comes to games to, to make it fair. So, you know, those two parties are going to be split up a whole bunch of backwards um, compatible games like, you know, Final Fantasy uh, are, are coming to the are, are coming to are becoming backwards compatible. Um, PUBG is going to be on Xbox Game Pass, you know, like whatever, who cares? Um, PUBG is kind of like old news at this point, especially with, uh, you know, Blackout, Black, Blackout being out. It is the better, um, Battle Royale game. Strategy Shooter, uh, Void Bastards, that game looked cool. Um, Crackdown 3, uh, we haven't seen Crackdown 3 in a while. Um, it launches February 15th. I can't really say that they showed enough of Crackdown 3. I still don't think they showed enough or showed me anything to really get me excited for the game. They, I feel, I still feel like they barely showed any of the multiplayer. And I think I saw auto-aim in that goddamn trailer. Y'all all know I'm on the campaign against auto-aim and I hate that. But we'll, we'll see. 
Um, I, I, I expected the, I don't know, I guess I expected the game to look a little bit visually cleaner and improved, but it kind of looked the, a little bit of this a little bit of the same thing so we'll see how crackdown 3 turns out uh like i said yeah the final fantasy games uh, a whole bunch of final fantasy games coming to xbox one's back backwards compatibility uh sea of thieves more sea of thieves content sea of thieves is trash what else can i tell you about that that crowd in there was cheering for everything though um super super saiyan god vegeta and golden frieza and you know some other uh, characters were in Jump Force. It's not that these things are bad, like I said, but it's, this is all like multi-platform content and stuff we could see anywhere else. It's not like exclusive to Xbox or, you know, news that even news that's exclusive to Xbox or anything like that. Um, Kingdom Hearts trailer, uh, Forza Horizon 4, uh, more content for that. Um, Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Give me a second. I'm scrolling. Um, State of Decay 2. More content. State of Decay 2 is trash too. What can I tell you? Just like Sea of Thieves, it's trash. Um, Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Cats and pandas. Really? Who gives a damn? Trash. Who cares? Um, Black Friday. Xbox One X. Um, and, and Xbox overall are going to be are going to be on sale. Uh, it's going to be three ninety nine, which is the same price as the as the PS4 Pro for for Black Friday. So Friday, so that's great. Uh, what else? They showed off a little bit of Red Dead, um, Battlefield Battlefield Five, uh, Xbox One enhanced. What else we got? Like I said, yeah, I talked about Void. Void Bastards, Devil May Cry 5, they showed off the Void mode, which is pretty much like practice mode. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I reviewed Shadow of the Tomb Raider, y'all know I wasn't a fan. I was highly disappointed in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, nobody cares about any any DLC, man. Just Cause 4, absolute trash. Blow things up for, Just Cause, Just Cause is garbage, okay? We all know only Kofi uh, is excited about that game. Kofi will be the single person on Earth to actually probably buy that game and and, and 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 I don't know maybe in his heart of hearts he actually enjoys it who knows uh ID at Xbox you know they announced some uh um indie games I'm gonna be real with you none of them really caught my eye I'm not against indie games but I don't nothing they really showed so there was I think ID at Xbox did show off uh Mutant Year Zero so I was actually sent a code from Mutant Year Zero from the from the indie studio the indie studio is uh, I believe it's called um, the Bearded Ladies Consulting. Um, I think the publisher is, is Funcom. I've been playing the game. I absolutely love the game. It's pretty much like an it's pretty much like an expanded XCOM RPG with mutants. And you know I love XCOM. I love uh, these type of strategy games. So I'm abs I'm absolutely in love with Mutant uh, Year One. I think it's an amazing game. I'm I've I have a video on it. I'm still working on it. I plan to upload it probably. Uh, by tomorrow, but but the game is absolutely uh, it has it's it's they're still working on it. It has some bugs and they need to some fixes, uh, but it's a it's 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 really good, especially for for an an indie project. Uh, even though I said they have a publisher, I'm a, I'm a little unsure about like if Funcom is actually the publisher, uh, you know. But whatever. Um, the the. The most exciting thing, the most relevant thing out of this whole conference, honestly, was not a game, was not nothing back about backwards compatibility, was not nothing um, about Game Pass. Uh, it was actually the fact that Phil Spencer acknowledged that the micro Microsoft Store is absolute trash and he intends to fix it, that they are actually taking feedback. They listen to feedback and they know they have to fix the store. That was the most exciting thing for me. Uh, what do we got? Give with Xbox. Give with Xbox is a holiday time campaign that aims to bring the joy of gaming to everyone. Um, you can donate five dollars. Uh, Microsoft will donate five dollars of Xbox products up to a million for every photo shared on social media about what gaming together means using the hashtag uh, Xbox. They talk. They promoted the Xbox Adaptive Control a little bit more. Uh, Metro Exodus, the Spartan Edition. It's kind of like the Collector's Edition. So yeah, I'm looking at all these websites and pretty and pretty much their summary of everything shown at the Xbox um, XO18. 
uh, event. And that's kind of that kind of summarizes the major things. But it, it just it just wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. It, it was kind it, it was kind of trash. It was boring because it's like it, it was just boring, man. It was underwhelming. It, they didn't really show me, it, like I said, anything completely synonymous or exclusive with F Xbox, like specifically for the Xbox brand. I that's what I want to know. Excite me for the Xbox brand and nothing else, and they failed to do that. So, you know, it, it wasn't very good. Like this is supposed to be their PSX. We know Sony didn't do a PSX this year because they they kept it real with themselves. They're like, listen, we don't got nothing to show y'all, Chief. If we force a uh, PSX out this year, it's not going to be very good. So they so they decided not to. Uh, I think it would have been better if Microsoft decided not to do this because we didn't gain anything from this. Uh, that you know we would have lost if they didn't show us this you know like some of this stuff they could have just put this out in a tweet this could have just been new news articles hey we bought like I said the most relevant things is probably the studios we bought hey we bought obsidian that could have been a tweet you know like uh, the, the um the crackdown trailer the update for for crackdown 3 that could have been they could have easily just just you know released that to, to YouTube they didn't have to they didn't have to have a conference for none of this stuff but it's like i don't know man i i guess it's kind of like they, they are trying to keep the xbox um brand active and alive and in touch with their audience so i understand that's pretty much what they are doing and listen some people love all this stuff some people are fine with backwards compatibility, that excites them. Um, Xbox Game Pass, that excites them. This, all this stuff together, micro, and what was it? Uh, you buy, if you get Xbox Game Pass right now, you can pay a dollar for it for the next month. Listen, Microsoft is the most accessible console in history. No doubt about it. They have made the Xbox One, like the generation of it is the easiest way to like get the most and pay the least for content. That is that should literally be their slogan with the Xbox One right now. Get the most, pay the least. The only thing is, you know, it just doesn't cater to me because you know I don't really, for the most part, I don't care about old games. You know, all these backwards compatible games. Uh, I, I I don't really care. That's not what I want. Um, all these games that they're adding to Xbox Game Pass, most of the time, like you know it's 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 games i would just i have no problem buying um or they're not even worth buying to me so i i just listen man it, it was pretty much it was just boring it was underwhelming it wasn't very fun i it wasn't it was like a waste of time to watch to me i don't know if i'm miss if i'm forgetting to um state anything else but uh yeah this 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 was a skip. It was, it was not necessary. This was not necessary. This was not necessary at all. Um, <laughs> listen, let me know what y'all think about this. I went in with, with an open mind. You know, I wasn't assuming it would be bad prior to or anything like that. I just expect, ex I guess I wanted some more surprises. Some things, more things of what we didn't know. The only thing they really did was confirm more of what we already knew. So yeah, not very impressed at all. But at least Phil Spencer's gonna fix the whip, fix the window store. He's like, you know, directly involved with it, and hopefully that means by the time like Gears Five comes out, uh, the next Gears come out, that um, you know, the window store will be fixed. Because I can't even play Gears Four anymore if I wanted to right now because the window store is so bad. So yeah, let me know what y'all thoughts on this are. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, notification bell so you can know anytime I'm streaming. Um, also, check out Weapon Wheel tomorrow. We'll be talking about all the stuff that happened in the past week. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch. Links in the description for everything. Hit the like button. I thank y'all. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.